Okay, guys, welcome back. I'm going to do another bloom swipe for you. Now, the Shelly Art Bloom Technique, using that recipe, but a swipe. And I did one the other day. You can go back and check on that one if you like. Um, I had some paints left over, some colours left over, and I've added another couple of colours, just so it's not exactly the same. So, where shall we start? We'll start with the pillow. So, the paint that we put down first, which allows the other colours to flow over the top of. It's called a pillow paint. And it's this one I'm using, the British Paints White Wall Interior. So, putting that one down. I might as well do that now, actually. And I don't think I put enough down last time, so I'm going to put a little bit extra down. Because this is what we use for the other paints to sort of float around on. So make sure I've got enough, hey. Alright, that should do. I buy it in the big 6 litre tin and then I just um, decant it into the smaller, smaller tin. Because it's much easier to pick up, obviously. Because the other one's really heavy. But, uh, yeah, when it's on special, I just buy it in the 6-litre tin. I'm just going to make a rectangle here. See, I don't think I had as much paint in the centre as I did, as I had on the edges on that last one. So I'll try and make it a little bit more, make my paint a little bit more even. Hopefully it's the same thickness all the way along now. Um, and then the colours I'm using, it's kind of a little bit of a beachy theme, I guess. We've got this one here. This is turquoise, or aqua it's called, for Joe Sonia's. And then we have silver, Payne's grey, and provincial beige. I think it's got a little bit of white in it, just to lighten it ever so lightly. The white that I'm using to swipe with is a combination of the Aussie Floetrol, two parts of that to one part of the Amsterdam Titanium White. Not the zinc white, the titanium white, because you need an opaque colour. Um, and then my paints are mixed with pouring medium, which is three parts of the untinted wall paint, interior wall paint, no colour in it, one part gloss varnish, that's Jo Sonia's, and one part polyacrylic, which I buy from Amazon. And that's mixed two parts of the pouring medium to one part of the Jo Sonia's. Okay, got it? Clear as mud? Let's do this. And the last time I just poured my paint with the cup, and I think I might have put a little bit much on, but anyway, I'm going back to my nozzles. I've got my... This is still left over from like six months ago, so... We'll pull some of that out. Probably not going to put enough on now. <laughs> um, all right, let's put some silver down. The paint is, um, it's relatively thick, I guess. It leaves a good mound on a mound. Like, thicker than what I would do with my flip cup pores. It is thicker than that. This is that creamy coloured one. Now I don't want that on top because white over that, you're not even going to see it. So we'll put a little bit more, we'll start zigzagging zagging just so that we can see other colours coming through underneath. Rather than have everything in the, in the same line. That way you just get, you just get a, a variety of colours coming through, don't you? Okay, that should do. Now when you close your nozzle, just wipe the top, probably not with your finger, but with a damp cloth, just so that you're not getting little bits of dried paint sitting on top, because it will dry there and then clog your nozzle, so make sure that you wipe it. Righty-o, now that should be enough paint. As I said, I think I put way too much on last time. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour my cell activator, or CA, which is the Floetrol and the Amsterdam White, just a little bit on here and then I'm going to put my swipe tool into it and swipe. So let's put some there. I'll just keep adding to it as I use it up. Alrighty oh now when you swipe don't just go lightly across the top kind of push down on a bit of an angle so that you're blending your colors as you go. 
So I try to get quite a lot on there and keep it on, keep it upside down. Use half for the side and then half for the other side. Here we go. Take that around. Oh, I haven't got my, oh my gosh. I didn't get my piece of paper towel organized. Here we go. Let's put some down. So unorganized. Wipe that off. And see, you've got cells coming up already. All right, here we go again. I'm trying to overlap a little bit. So that you don't get gaps in between. I don't think I've pushed as much with the colour that one. I don't think I've pushed as hard with that one as I should have. A lot of it's going to get tilted off, so don't be too concerned. I, I found, well, what I realised in the last pour, that if I swipe again, I take off too much colour and then um, there's not enough room like for the, the cells to float around. Like the paint's too thin if I've swiped twice, so I think it's best just to swipe once and hope for the best. I'm pushing the paint as I go. See, I didn't push that one down deep enough. See, you can see the white under there. I didn't push my colour down enough. This cup was in the way and I didn't, didn't do a very good job of it. But that's okay. It's probably going to get tilted off down there. Move everything out of the way here so I can get my arm in there. So push down and across. I'm not going to do that again. I'll just leave it as is, turn it around, make sure we're still taping. Yes! Let's put a bit more white on. And we'll go again on the other side. You don't have to use a card, you can use whatever you like. It's just to find a container that that will fit into. It has to be very shallow because of the shape of this. Now push down get your colors to blend that was good otherwise your colors don't blend you're just sort of skimming over the top like that one there i'm trying to overlap a little bit here as well so that i don't have that line in between I seem to have more white on that side Okay, and again, I just try to pick it up like that to keep some of that white on there. And I'm pushing on an angle with my little spatula. It's not going straight, it's on a bit of a, it's like that. And I'm kind of pushing like you would like a snow plow. It's pushing the, the paint along. But I'm getting a nice thick covering of the white so the white goes over the top and the other colors pop through um, and makes your, your lacing or your cells I don't really call this cells as such I think it's more lacing really cells around they've got colors inside colors I think I think this is more more lacing if I had to give it a name I would say it's more of a lacing than than it is cells oh, I dripped Mm, last one, there we go. All righty, we are covered. I don't know about my color selection. It doesn't look that wonderful, does it? But never mind. Might look better once I start <laughs> tilting it. Let's get rid of this. Throw that out. Right, so I think I've got more paint down that end. So let's go that side first. Ooh, now, it's, it's tricky trying to work out which way to to tilt maybe I'll just do this get the weight of the paint down because I've kind of overstretched a part of it last time maybe if I do this, this is what I do when I do my acrylic pouring to get the paint down I walk it you see so let's try that see if that'll work rather than go all the way to one corner and then come back again 
Actually, maybe because I've got the weight of the paint here, maybe come back. See, this is the thing. Do you come back up this way, but it's a long way, or do you go that way and go to this corner? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of walk it back to the middle, but sort of take it down here where I'm wiggling my thumb and get that corner done. I think. I don't know. It's, it's tricky. It's the only thing I still struggle with. I think, oh, which way? Do I go? Now I'm going to bring the weight of it back to the middle. It's looking better than the last one. I think I'm, I've tilted it better. It's, it's always the tilting that's the tricky part. Take your hands around and drip into the middle. All right, now we'll go the same, do the same thing. I'm going to walk it back and forth rather than just in one direction. And over, well, I like going over the corners because you want to stretch your cells out, okay? You do want to stretch them out. We've got to walk back a little bit. And now we're going to go to the other corner. The whole idea of this is you swipe and then you, you stretch them. It's pretty good if I do say so myself. Now I'm just going to bring the weight of the paint back into the middle. And I'll do that by walking it again. Because that seems to work, doesn't it? The cells are of a lovely shape. I'm not that keen about that little bend there on the corner, but hey, I don't think we need to go all the way over to that corner again. Because then something else will be wrong. You know, you'll go, oh, I've gone all the way over to that corner to fix that little tiny bit there, but then I've overstretched everything else. So just leave it, okay? It's never, it's never going to be the way you anticipated. It's really not. It's fluid art. Um, as I've said many times, if you're 70% happy with it, just leave it. Because you could, you could re-tilt and change it and then you'll be 30% happy with it and 70% unhappy with it. So in my experience, if you go, oh, that's lovely, I love it, just leave it. I just need to cover this. I don't think I went over that little corner there. Yeah, just, just leave it. Alrighty. Well, that turquoise has taken over, hasn't it? The last one, the, um, actually it's pretty even. The last one, the, um, Paints grey really took over. This is just a nice balance. You can't really see this one that much. Little bits of it. I think this is a different, it might be a different colour. I put white in it. I can't remember. It was like six months ago that I made it up. Probably longer than that. Well, so, there we go. What do you think? Got some gorgeous cells in there. Lacing, cells, whatever. Let's turn my ring light off. Let's go down for a little peekaboo, a little close up, hey? I do like this one. Do you guys like it? Let's put you on autofocus. Really pretty lacing. I think that was the way to go with the tilting. It just takes practice. And you can't, you can't keep practice, like you have to do it to practice. So you may, you may ruin a few, but you'll learn from them, you know, as to which way to tilt. And my lacing has stayed nice and strong because my white cell activator is nice and thick. If your cell activator is really thin, like if you're going maybe a three to one or a four to one, your, your white's really thin and it'll either just sink or your lacing will break maybe, or you know, it won't stay in shape, it'll just go kind of wobbly and overstretch if your cell activator is too thin. It's showing up much bluer through here, it's actually quite turquoisey green. As usual, my camera doesn't pick up the colour, but when I take a photo and put it at the end of the video, um, I'll make sure that it's showing the correct colour, the, the turquoise. So there we go. How do I get it to show the proper colour? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, there it is. I like that one. The other one's sitting under there drying. It's under here. The one I just did. 
and it's it under there. So this one I'll put next to it and it can dry. Um, I'll show you them both dry in a, uh, a few days. They take about four or five days to dry because the paint's really thick. But um, I will show you. So there we go. Hope you've enjoyed that. I'm going to get cleaned up and I'm going to do a, a resin project. So um, I'll see you for that real soon. Thanks for watching, you guys. Hope you enjoyed that. There'll be more to come, no doubt. <laughs> all right. Love you all. Bye for now.